Lion Shaved Ice, a local delicacy. Hi, I'm Dennis Gage, and welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week we're on the big island of Hawaii for Cruise Paradise. This is a 10-day event. They only do it every three years, and I was here three years ago, but I did my typical swoop in, swoop out. I was here for about 36 hours, and then I said, what was I thinking? This is Hawaii! So I come back this time to do it right. They start over on the Kona side, go up through the high country, Waimea, down to the Hilo side. I mean, stops everywhere. It's spectacular. You're gonna love this, because believe me, I love this. Let's cruise paradise. <laughs> well, how you doing, man? Aloha, Dennis. Welcome. Uh, aloha, indeed. Three years ago, I was here. I was so blown away. I had to come back, man. Oh, awesome. We love having you back. Cruise Paradise just—it's—it's it's one of the most unique events I think anywhere. And this is what the the fifth, the fifth, fifth one. Fifth one. And only every three years. Every three years. So you've been doing it 15 years. Exactly. You know, you got an amazing amount of cars for being an island. We do. We have a lot of hot rod builders and quality hot rod and street rod builders here on the island. Absolutely. And then this, when this event takes place, cars from all the other islands come in. We have uh, cars come from Oahu and Maui. And thanks to you and your show, My Classic Car, we got bombarded by people all over the United States and international. Australia, New Zealand, and even wow. England. And that's it. I mean, people ship cars over from the mainland. They, you know, they bring them in for the other islands. And, and this is really the kickoff, and you got kind of the, the, uh, the car show here at the mall. But then for the next 10 days, you guys are all over the island. Yes, we had a run yesterday that went 100 and something miles. We had 70 cars come with us. Tomorrow we have a run that goes from here up to Kohala, which is on the far west side of the island. Then we drive up to the upcountry area, which is more like Montana Upper Ranch area, rolling hills pasture it, it, at it about 4,000 foot elevation. We're going to have a big barbecue up there with probably 300 people, maybe 150 cars and we'll just relax and have a great day. Hawaii is just a special place, it's paradise. This is a great show here, but I'm really looking forward to these next few days on the road. I might try and, you know, scrounge a ride, maybe and scrounge uh, or some time behind the wheel and a few of these, uh, we'll see what we I think you'd go up to anybody and see them and let them know most of them are gonna just hand you the keys and say, let's go. <laughs> I, I know you can drive mine. <laughs> All right, let's go look at a few of these cars. Let's see what we are into here. Okay, let's go <laughs> take a look. Maybe that Roadrunner Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> Steve, this is one sweet 57 Caddy. Thanks, Dennis. Very nice. I saw, you, I saw you cruising in. And you know, the, the neat thing about it is uh, it's, a, it's a very, very mild custom. I mean, it's lowered a little bit, shaved, but that's about it, that's right? That's it. Shaved, all the hood yeah. emblems are gone, the, the trunk emblems are gone, and then some of the emblems on the side that Cadillac used to, to put on their cars. Bling it up a little bit. Yeah, maybe a little overdone. We've removed all that just so that you know, when you look down the car, your eyes never stop. Yeah. You know, it's just totally smooth. And it's, you know, running first generation air ride. This car has been done for almost 20 years. It's pretty much how, and you're how from, it was. And you're from Austin. From Austin, Texas, And yeah. that's where the car lives, too. That's where the car lives, So you also. shipped it over for Cruise Paradise. I actually drove it to California, took it down to Long Beach and put it on the boat. And, and it came over. And came over. Well, the interior, you've you've left it pretty much, even yeah, the interior is stock, Yeah, right? it, it's all stock. We did redo it. Uh, did they, they have a padded dash originally or not? They did have a padded okay. dash originally. And that chrome back above the back window, was that, that stock? Or that no? was not stock. The the, pe the metal piece was stock, but I pulled it out and had it plated. That looks great. So. Great back window too, wraps around and yeah. comes to a you know, surprisingly yeah. sharp point there. Real and sharp then point. Just starting to sprout fins. Yeah, this was a first. Actually, the, the earlier caddies, 55, 56, they had the little baby fins that- They're kind of rounded real, too. Kind of rounded. Yeah. And, this is the first year the fins actually started coming up. In, in 57, they actually were going reverse toward yeah. the driver, and then and in 58, they're pointing they, that way. Yeah, they started going. At least you, know, you got south. the you got the thrusters. Right, yeah, got the yeah the exhaust is in the is in the bumper. You know, it, this still has the the gas oh, yeah, the gas yeah, that's filler right, man. that's in the tail light. The only thing that we have done in the last 20 years of the thing is we did change the wheels on this car. Oh and, yeah, uh, yeah, I saw those. I thought, Kelsey Hayes, but no. These are Barani wheels, so. That just, it just looks great. So. Now you, you've you had this done for a long time. I was talking to you about the engine before. You said, I, I hate to even show it. I really don't like showing it. <laughs> it's an original engine, it's still 365 yeah. cubic inch. 
300 horse caddy motor with a hydromatic transmission and it just it just keeps on going it is so, one fine machine you so, might take me for a ride oh yeah we'll go for a I ride i might have to take you for a ride in. hey okay. man 57 caddy that is sweet man thanks dennis sweet well moses there are a lot of nice cars here Thank but you, this Dennis. baby really, this baby caught my eye. <laughs> <laughs> and you shipped this over from the mainland just for Cruise Paradise. Right. But yeah. you're actually from here. Yes. Yeah. Like Big born, Island? Born and raised on the Big Island. So did you find this over in the mainland? And you... No, it's from here. So this this is from here. Yes. Went over there. Went over there. Came, came back, back here. here. <laughs> yes. Yes. You know, I like that. I like yes. that a lot. So 68 uh, Nova. Yes. <laughs> and what all have you done? You obviously got the cowl induction, kind of an exaggerated cowl induction hood. You chromed out your chromed uh, out my cowl. Very nice, uh -huh. man. And the interior, yeah. you've redone this. Uh -huh. Yeah, the tilt column looks great. I like the gauges, you definitely did this baby upright. Yeah. I mean, do you drive this baby? Oh yes. But it's you, a street driven car. It's a street driven. Yeah. It also looks to me like it's a bit of a drag strip driven yeah. car. <laughs> <laughs> and it's these wheelie bars that sort of uh -huh. sort of give it away. And you got it seriously tugged. Do you ever use those wheelie bars? Yes. You know, yes, I yes, respect yes. that. <laughs> <laughs> now you're sporting 396 badging, but you've done something even more there, right? There's a 454, bought out, 30 over. Wow. Yeah. It looks as nice under here as it does on top. I mean, you uh -huh. really, you take care of your cars. Oh, yes. Moses, beautiful. Oh. 68 and over. Nice, yeah. sweet little car. Yeah. Thank you, Dennis. They're having the driver's meeting now, but today we're running from the Kona here up to Waimea up to the mountains, like windy roads, Norfolk Pines, just the views alone are worth it. Nice view. Well, hey, now we're in Waimea, center of the big island for a barbecue at Curtis and Downey Silva's place. These are some fine folks, and these are some fine cars. I love Cruise Paradise. Bobby, I love your car, man. <laughs> this 51 Chev is just, you know, it's stunning, I think. Really nice. I love the blue with the rainbow flake in it. Thank you. Now, yeah. you're like, what, the second owner of this car? I'm the second owner, <laughs> yeah. Have it for 33 years, yeah. Man, but she was, Bought on the island originally. Bought on the island, yes. So it never left? No, never did, yeah. <laughs> you haven't done a lot. You know, this is a real mild custom. I think that's what I like about it. But you've done a few mods on it. What all have you done? Well, I uh, I took the front, the middle portion out. Yeah. And I put this aluminum chrome right in the middle here. Yeah. And I, the bumpers, I redid it. And they had, they had like chrome. bumperettes or something, Yeah, I had... Uh, Guard bumpers on the side, yeah. and in the front we had two bumpers too, and I took that all out and just to make it plain, yeah? Man, just, yeah. but in the sunlight, yeah. this paint yeah. job just kills I have, me. Uh, I have uh, three coats of blue and nine coats of clear. I, I didn't notice yeah. it before, but you've actually got those I have on the top too, yes. Yeah, I yes. didn't yes. see that. Yeah. You got to get it yeah. in the light to see right. that. Right, and I didn't want too much. Uh-huh. And then the interior is mm -hmm. kind of cool because mm -hmm. this looks like you're, you yeah. know, the classic, yeah. uh, you know, tuck and roll, yeah, but it's right. but it's actually yeah. embossed, right. right? And it's 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 the same as what it was original, the the trims and whatnot, and I just recovered. Uh huh. But it was the same way. And you haven't done too much to the dash. Uh, no, I kept it. The only thing I did was shave for the the radio there. Yeah, yeah. And I mounted my stereo underneath. Uh huh. And it's uh. It's Got it tunes. Got right, it. right. It's, uh, <laughs> the uh, clock still works. It's a winding clock, yeah. That's usually the yeah, first thing to yeah, go in these yeah. cars. This thing really yeah, looks good yeah, on the road. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm yeah. sure you've done something under the hood? Yes. Uh, well, let's go see what yeah. you did. Okay. All right. So 350? Yeah. 350. I have a uh, hogger headers on it. I, I have a, a fan in the front. I couldn't put a fan in the back there. Because it's kind of tight? Yeah, I have a long uh, water pump. But otherwise, I mean, yeah. she seems to fit pretty well. Yes, it does. And this is about the most reliable engine ever built. It is, yeah. So, yeah. you know. Yeah. And this yeah. is a, I mean, this baby is a yeah. real yeah. Hawaiian cruiser. Right. This car just says Hawaii to me. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Blue yeah. Hawaii. Blue Hawaii, yes. 51 uh, Chev. Beautiful car, Bobby. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thank man. Thank you. 
Well, Lyndon, I saw this at the show the other day, and uh, for me, it was love at first sight. But, you know, I like kind of funky things. <laughs> and this is a funky car. <laughs> 64 Valiant Wagon. Yes. I mean, that's funky. Yeah. She looks nice, yep. but it's also something that's not so nice that, hey, you know, yeah, kids, keep that off the yes, You exactly. know, you can have fun with this that's thing. That's exactly what we wanted. So this looks like a near original color for 63, 64, it, that era. It's very close. We uh, put a little more silver tint in it. Uh, then it just gave it that pop. Yeah, man. And and the, and the, the two-tone, the white, uh, did it come originally two-toned? Um, when we got it, it was white and that original color, so. Oh, man. <laughs> you know, and what's kind of cool about this car is there's not a lot of trim on it, but there's some great body lines. Yes, yes. But you've added some of your own personal touches. These wheels are pretty wild. They're like at least 16s. Um, they're 18 inch. They're the 2010 <laughs> Challenger rims oh, yeah. <laughs> with lower profile tires. Oh, so that's what gives it the, you know, yes, the almost the stock height, exactly. but, but with a big wheel. That's you know, and, and I like the, you know, the kind of argent silver, and it looks like you painted the bumpers. Yes, it, that's exactly what I did. I took the silver from the argent and made the bumpers and the door handles and the roof and, rack oh, all silver. Oh, I love it. So that it kind of just goes with yeah, it. It does, I love this thing. And the interior, uh, original is it? Yes, the interior is original. You know, what a funky dash, just the gauging and the, you know, the, the white circles and, and still the push, push button, button transmission. Yes. You know, and with the roof rack and everything, crank up window, this is, this is a great family cruiser. Oh yeah. And you just must have a blast. Oh yeah, we have a blast. Now originally this probably would have come with like a slant six. Uh, actually it still has the it slant six. It still has the slant yes. six, I yes. love the six. Let's go look yeah. at that. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's it, man. That's the it. Slant Six. Yep. <laughs> the venerable Slant Six. And this is—it's no cream puff. Nope. It's a driver. Yep. Well, Linda, '64 Plymouth Valiant wagon, the perfect family truckster. Yes. I love your car, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> love it. I could get used to this. An island cruiser. Ryan, if this isn't a helo hack, I don't know what it is. <laughs> this is fantastic. This is, a, they call it what, a sampan? A helo sampan bus, yes. And they were, and they were, I mean, they were built here. This was, this is like, this was made here in Hilo back in the day. These are unique to the town of Hilo. They're built nowhere else on the planet. Uh, they were built way back in the early 20s, all the way through the uh, early 70s. No kidding. So this one is, I mean, your license plate says 50. Is it 50 Chev? It's a 50 Chevy that uh, was converted way back when. And has it been stretched because the wheelbase looks long? No, it's stock wheelbase. They just extended the body out uh, past the wheels. That is unbelievable. Was it a, a, a taxi? It was like a, like a Jitney shuttle bus, yeah. similar to our current airport shuttles where yeah. they had a an A to B destination, but it could take a while to get there. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So obviously, you I mean, you've really worked this baby over. I mean, this is a complete restoration, and it's just, did it ever look this nice back in? Uh, probably, probably not. not. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little over the top for, oh, uh, for most people. But, that, but, and, uh, but this would have been how, you know, other than looking really, really nice, yes. this would have been how it would have been. The, this just is kind of the U-shaped seats yes, back? Yes, yes. Yes. And would it have, have the uh, wood uh, roof here too? Earlier they had the roof uh, uh, bare uh, wood and then uh -huh. later on they some of them added headliner and carpeting to make it look more like a, a limo. Man, I mean, and you got the side curtains you can drop down. In the case of rain. Yep. Ra and, and that never happens no, in Hilo. No, never in Hilo, no. Uh -uh. <laughs> There's a reason it's so green here, I gotta tell you. Yeah. But the wood and everything, I gotta believe you, you have to hit this with some serious marine varnish to... Yes, yeah, it, it does take a little bit of upkeep, yeah. And then, they're really just kind of this big tub back here, right? Yes. Very simple uh, design. Uh, and, you know, set up to handle as many people as possible. Uh, in fact, there was a limit of 13 passengers, and that number 13 is on the side. I was wondering what that was. Yeah. That's Man. the passenger limit, 13. Now, uh, it would have had the original running gear, but you've uh, undoubtedly updated that because you're using this nowadays. Yeah, it was in California. I've had it for 18 years, uh, 16 of which have been in California. And I wanted to be able to drive it in California on the freeways. So Hence, I've updated it with a crate motor and 350. And, and decent brakes now. Power steering, power disc brakes. Oh, man. This is so Hilo. People must just go nuts. I saw you rolling around town. Yes. It, it's just, it just looks at home. Well, well oddly enough, uh, I have a photograph of this car uh, from 1961 when it actually used to run to this very spot 50 oh, years ago. Oh, man. This is just 
spectacular. And Cruise Paradise, is this, is this like one this of the coolest it. things on earth? This is, definitely. Definitely. I mean, look around. I know. <laughs> What's not to like? Yeah, I mean, really. <laughs> and you perhaps have the coolest or certainly the most appropriate vehicle here. Oh, it is definitely gets uh, everybody's attention. Yes. Right. Thanks so much, man. Thank you, man. Dennis. Thank you. Oh, man. Cruise Paradise is just spectacular. They only do it every three years, and it's a 10-day event. I still haven't covered it all. I'm just going to have to come back. And if I were you, I'd start making plans to do the same. Cruise Paradise.